RC cars are kind of expensive, huh? 500 goes up to a thousand by the time you're you're pretty much there. So so Banggood from China is trying to address that by giving you a kit for two hundred seventy dollars complete, and it's called the RGT CJ eight six zero one zero. Quite a mouthful, huh? So two hundred seventy bucks. Is it too good to be true or a hidden gem? That's what we'll try to figure out with you. So they sent this over to us. They had us pick from their whole lineup basically and we said, hey, that looks pretty good. Under 300, we wanna, we wanna hit that part of the market because we want to introduce more people to the hobby. And by the way, this is RC Review. We do objective and honest reviews on products like this. So consider subscribing. And if you need to buy anything, click on our links and it'll help our channel out. So it comes with radio, complete car with battery and charger. There's a charger here somewhere, right here, little charger. It's gonna take a long time to charge for this. And what's amazing about it is it looks good. You know, that's what caught my attention. So I said, hey, let me have that. And it is kind of a, kind of a two-faced body. Some of it looks really good, and some of it's like, oh, what the heck happened there? So just to give you the, the 30 second clip, it's got a nice roll cage, an open interior, and to, to get it this deep is not easy to do. A lot of interiors you see just are shallow like this. So to get it deep, it's not easy to do. You get, you get, you get to put a real driver in here. Uh, it's gonna look good. You got your manual transmission. The dashboard looks, it's all stickers, so that's not good. But the seats are awesome. And then you go here to the front is where the warts are. The grill is just awful. I don't know what happened there. Um, they could have done a good job, but it just looks, it's a flat thing with stickers and it just cut right there. The bumper looks pretty good, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a performance nightmare because um, it's so sharp and angled and wide. The nice fenders here, but the rear has no fenders. I don't know what happened. And it's got a spare tire. Instead of a bumper, they mount this spare tire holder back there. It's got these tires that are, that are quite soft, that are not sticky at all. They're quite slippery. And that's your body. So jump right into the chassis, four body posts, hold it. And this is kind of impressive. You know, it kind of looks like a red cat in a lot of the materials. It includes the servo, a 15 kg servo, a 550 motor, uh, Receiver is sealed, ESC, and a battery in the back. The battery is all the way in the back because it needs this tub to be free for that body. So transfer case, divorce transfer case right here, and I think that helps them have a nice interior. So some gearing here and some gearing here. Everything in the bottom is metal. That's pretty cool. Drive shafts, ooh. I think the drive shafts are plastic, or not, the, what do you call these? Uh, the, the main shafts are plastic. The pumpkins are not bad. The metal links everywhere, bent pan hard link right there. It has a metal steering horn. Looks a lot like the one we ha see in the Red Cat, but it's a very forward mounted motor. And I think that's cool. Servo as well. And I think that's to balance out the battery, which they had to put in the back. So the battery is a 2000 milliamp hour nickel metal hydride. It's, uh, we, we don't use that anymore really, but when, when you're talking budget, because the chargers are so expensive, the, uh, they, they ship nickel metal high, just to get you started. And it's enough to get you started, but every time you, you run it dry, maybe half hour, you have to wait hours, three to four hours to recharge it fully. So there you go. The transmitter is fine. Uh, looks like a red car. It's got a cover. And what's, uh, what's something really cool about it, is it's four channel, boom. And look at the third, so steering and, uh, and throttle are the first two channels, but look at the third channel, boom. 
I can do this all day. You know why? Because to do a switchable light in your Traxxas, your, your Axel or whatnot, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> you need a light controller, basically. A light controller talks to your receiver, so it'll switch on and off. So it's got another plug here, so you could put uh, a light on the, on, the, on the rear as well. But they weren't able to put one because they don't have a bumper. So this, the steering is plenty good. It's about 41 degrees and it's got power. So it's 15 kg and it's stronger than a lot of those Amazon 20 kgs that I see, which are kind of lying anyway. So I, I suspect this is fairly close to 15 kg. And the modulation is not that easy. You know, it's, 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 it's pretty jerky. So that's not bad, right? But it's not, that's not good either, you know? for, for what, what I'm used to. And the bad news is it's a two cell, meaning, uh, what do you call that, 7.4 volts. So when you put three cell, the 11.1 uh, volts, it's very jerky, very hard to control. So a lot of our footage is three cell and it's, it's uh, a little frustrating to control. Uh, it's okay, but it doesn't look good. It makes us look bad. <laughs> so what we, do, what we have is a lot of footage uh, both on the rocks and on the trail. This is a trail crawler for sure. What I can say is stock tires, it's awful, you know, especially with this thing hanging in the back. So we very quickly put in our, our nice, what do you call that, uh, J Concept Scorpio, very heavy wheels, 200 grams per, per, per wheel and tire, and then it started performing. So it just gives you a glimpse of the potential of a vehicle like this. It's, a, it's an 11.3 wheelbase, by the way, so it's an inch shorter than what we're used to, which is 12.3. And I think that's to make the Jeep more accurate and scale. So uh, we left everything box stock. The um, steering is pretty good. The shocks are, are, are too light. It's top heavy. That's for dang sure. We took out the, uh, the rear like this. Boom. <laughs> and we had at it. So we had fun with it for sure. 270 bucks, but of course we changed the the battery to a lipo uh, uh, right away just to get that weight down and hope you enjoy it if you want this you can probably buy it from amazon but uh, we'll have links to amazon and and banggood what we'll do is we'll run it and then we'll modify it uh, i already have a lot of ideas on how to make it better you know the suspension maybe maybe low, lower lower it a tad um what else do i want to do Move the battery around, maybe somewhere here, because it's so heavy. And the bumper, maybe it's something we could do with the bumper. We'll see. Round out the edges or something. Okay, we took it to our favorite creek trail. It's a trail crawler after all. Took out the rear tire. And we changed the wheels and tires to something heavy. J-Concept Scorpio with a lot of grip because these are very slippery conditions and some steep rocks like this also we put in some a three cell lipo battery give it 30 percent more speed and power give it some wheel speed here it's not easy to modulate you know, once it gets going it doesn't move and then once it gets going it's it's fairly fast not a lot of drag brake either but you know, at this price point 270 bucks can't expect the world so we Check the uh, wheel speed here. A little bashing potential. Maybe seven, eight knots an hour. Let's start steering. Pretty fast. Pretty nice steering radius. And then we go to the water. Because we're always going to play with the water. I think this is where it does really well. A little bit of trail crawling. But when we submerged it, you know, past the halfway point of the vehicle, the the motor started glitching, it started stopping and turning on, so we stopped doing it. I don't think it's, there's something there's something up with it. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't exactly like water. Like right here, it's jerking and we weren't turning it off, but it was turning off quite soon. So we got to the rocks, the not the rocks, the roots and the trail. This is very tricky. 
but you know the short wheelbase Ooh. does well. Oh, here's the cool thing: <laughs> you're able to turn the lights on remotely, off and on, off and on. So cool, <laughs> and they're fairly bright. You know, they're mounted on the bumper, and they work pretty well. Nothing on the rear though, because there's no bumper. They put, on, they put the spare tire on the bumper. Now. There you go. Get a wheel speed. Short wheel base, it gets hung up less. And here's something really steep. Handle it pretty good. The bumper has a nice approach angle, but once it touches something, it's not good. moving. It's so sharp. Here's the uh, axles hang up. Tough little part here. Able to climb well. Going the other way. So this is where it could be fun. You're 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 trailing along, slow speed. You have a driver. It just looks realistic. Except for that front wheel, of course. So we're, we're gonna try to fix that. Again. Steering radius is pretty good, you know, with a short wheelbase of 11.3, good powerful servo, turns pretty tight. Not something that needs to be addressed or upgraded right away. Has a metal servo horn as well, so should last. We'll drop here. Boom, did alright, did alright, huh? And here is just a rock dam. I said, okay, let's go just get a Can't we really tackle this thing? Notice when, when it stops, when it starts going, it, 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 it's, it's a little. It's, it's not a slow modulation. But you can work with stuff, why not? That thing. Water. <laughs> that. And then we're here we're at the steering radius with the power. It doesn't flip over when I think it will. And you want? And never. It doesn't flip over. But you think it will? Like there? They see it's acting like we have a lot of this. Stop. Passion. There we go. Stock wheels, stock tires. Spare tire. Let's see how it does. Why not? Okay, we did this about five times and it was not going anywhere. Because the tires are not good and the center gravity was not good at all. Not center gravity, but the the forward backwards balance. It's it's uh, tail heavy because of that spare tire. Nothing doing. And the god put it to test number two. And you can guess what's gonna happen. Not much. So we tried, you know, why not? That's what we do. Try and learn in five minutes, but you don't have to wonder about anymore. And you know, maybe the audience is wondering, you know, what can it do on some technical fail or some wrong? So we answer that question. And the answer is it can't do much. But everything is upgradable, it's all standard components. So we're gonna change the wheels and tires. Pretty quickly take out that real spare tire. And then in our next video, we are gonna do some some upgrades. What we have planned is heavier shock coil, make this thing more stable, a little more forward weight, and then a better ESC. You know, the, the Hobby 1080 could be a great Put some more power in that servo because it's definitely high voltage. 
and I don't know what you guys think. But what else should we try on this? Maybe a better radio. Let's see. Modulates even better. Maybe a better radio. Different bodies gonna be a little tough. Cause the wheel base is short, 11.3. Oh, here we have the, uh, the new wheels and tires. Definitely more planted. But they're like almost 200 gram wheels and tires on each side. It'd be better if just the rear. Okay, we couldn't climb this little tower here, so we we're gonna descend it. work that's where it does its best work right here even with that gnarly bumper he was able to get through and with the short wheel base it doesn't get hung up on these rocks so well done right there more tires are in contact so it's able to power through what's it doing turning around over there Got good power. Nice of them to put a 550 in And remember, hope you've been well and hope you've been starting to get out. You know, we've had a very brutal shelter in place around the world, and some of you guys, some of you, my friends in, in Europe, have been quarantined. Uh, it's been tough. Hopefully, you've built a lot of RCs, but hope we're gonna start producing a bunch of content again. Uh, since this, uh, the, the season is in full swing. We've been waiting for a lot of product releases, but not a lot are coming out. Thanks a ton.